how the madden julian oscillation helped to trigger the early onset of the monsoon the article is taken from indian express we know that monsoon the lifeline of the indian subcontinent and every year we will receive the monsoon in the first week of the june but this year in 2025 we received the monsoon in the last week of may that means nearly one week before than usual and one of the primary reasons behind this early onset is the phenomena madden julian oscillation so what is madden julian oscillation let's discuss welcome to shankaraya's academy so madden julian oscillation look at this definition i took this definition from the press information bureau the madden julian oscillation is an equatorial traveling pattern of anomalous rainfall that is planetary in scale so before understanding this uh, definition or before decoding this definition we can simply understand what is madden julian oscillation just consider it as an atmospheric disturbance that travel across the world along the equator that means the 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 strong impact of this madden julian oscillation is on the tropical area so for example this madden julian oscillation can either enhance or it can suppress the rainfall in the tropics but uh, the subtropical area will also have a limited impact of this madden julian oscillation and it will travel around the world along the equator and coming to this definition from the pib so madden julian oscillation is an equatorial traveling pattern of anomalous rainfall yes because this uh, phenomena can make the rainfall erratic which means unpredictable it can either suppress or it can either enhance the rainfall and that is planetary in scale for example the impact of this madden julian oscillation is you know is on a large area for example this madden julian oscillation is active over the indian ocean then the uh, the maritime continents that means the con uh, the areas of the southeast asia will receive only suppressed rainfall for example this uh, phenomena is active over the maritime continents then in that case the indian ocean and the western pacific will receive only limited rainfall so this is how the uh the uh, you know th that is why this madden julian oscillation is planetary in scale so i i hope you understand so simply consider this phenomena as a cloud carrying rainfall it can either suppress the rainfall or it can enhance the rainfall that depends on its active phase or inactive phase if it is active it will give more rainfall if it is inactive it will it will give only rain uh, less rainfall so look at this picture so it is for a better understanding uh, how the madden julian oscillation will influence the rainfall so here you can see the madden julian the cloud is uh, is above the active phase so this area is in active phase therefore this region will receive heavy rainfall while the either sides the west and east will receive only suppressed rainfall and the coming to the other facts about this madden julian oscillation so this uh, this phenomena can travel you know at a speed of uh, uh, 4 to 9 meters per second that means it can complete you know uh, a circulation around the world on an average of 30 to 60 days sometimes up to 90 days and another thing is it always travels from west to east it will not travel from east to west it will always travel from west to east and you can see this phenomena will complete the circulation around the world in eight different phases so let us discuss the phases so the first active phase we will start with the indian ocean the first active phase forms between the phase 2 and phase 3 and this will enhance the south asian monsoon as a result the south india as well as the south asia will receive heavy rainfall than the usual and the next active phase will happen between the phase 4 and 5 so this active phase will form over the uh, the maritime continents like the australia indonesia and malaysia and this will enhance the australian monsoon and as a result you can see that uh, it will it will uh, give more rainfall in the northern part of australia and the next active phase will be between the uh, phase 6 and 7 and uh, that is over the western pacific and this will enhance the cyclonic activity in the western pacific and the next active phase is between the phase 8 and 1 so this this uh, phase 8 uh, uh, this active phase between the 8 and 1 will cover the entire western hemisphere including the western part of african continent and as a result the western hemisphere will witness increased uh, events like rainfall storm and uh, cyclonic activity so these are the different phases of the uh, madden julian oscillation and the, uh, one more thing i forgot to mention that this phenomena was discovered in the year 1970 by uh, paul julian and uh, ronald uh, madden so here you can see the different phases of the active phases of the madden julian oscillation the first phase is uh, active phases over the indian ocean so it enhances the south asian monsoon second over the maritime continents enhances the uh, australian monsoon and the next is over the western pacific increases the cyclonic activity and uh, next uh, the phase uh, next acti active phase is between the phase 8 and 1 and this covers the entire western hemisphere including africa as a result the americas will witness increased rainfall storm and cyclone how did the madden julian oscillation contribute to the early onset of the monsoon 
So in the previous slide, we already discussed the, how this Madden Julian oscillation will influence the rainfall. If it is active over a particular region, then that region will receive heavy rainfall. If it is inactive over a particular region, then that region will receive only suppressed rainfall. So remember this. So the uh, so to understand how the uh, Madden Julian oscillation contributes to the early onset of monsoon, we have to understand what are the features of this Madden Julian oscillation. So heavy convection, increased uh, cloud formation, and the cyclonic activity are the major features of the Madden Julian oscillation. So, in the tropics, the Madden Julian oscillation is in its active phase brings frequent cyclonic activity and this can initiate the early onset of the monsoon and this year this is the primary reason behind the early onset of the monsoon and before 10 years that is uh, in 2015 uh, due to the Madden Julian oscillation uh, nearly 20 days the various parts of India received very good rainfall. So, remember that before this incident uh, you know uh, was active in the year 2015 now it is 2025. So, here you can see an interval of 10 years. So, we may witness another event in 2025, there is a, sorry 35, there is a possibility. So, this is all about the Madden Julian oscillation. Coming to the prelims practice question, the question is uh, consider the following statements regarding Madden Julian oscillation. It is an atmospheric disturbance that travels from east to west and uh, on a uh, statement 2, on an average the Madden Julian oscillation can travel across the world in uh, 150 to 180 days. Which of the above statements is or are correct? Option A, 1 only. Option B, 2 only. Option C, both 1 and 2. And option D, neither 1 nor 2. Post the answer in the comment section. We will meet again in another video. Thank you.